Hey guys, welcome to the show. My name is Spencer and I will be your reusable host for today's ex- episode of Expat Soup. Uh, once again, we're coming to you live here from Jimmy V's in Yangzhou, China. And I'm um, sitting here with the homie Lee. What's up? He's still here, guys. Yeah. Give it up for Lee. And we are sitting here today with our guest, uh, Mr. Ruben Cruz. Ruben, welcome. Welcome to the show. Into the mic, into the mic. Thanks for having me, Bill. For sure, for sure. Uh, you are from? I'm from USA. I'm from California, nearby Los Angeles. Which uh, which part of? Uh, so not in LA proper. No, no it's like the, the it's the next county up. It's called Ventura County. <clears throat> like my hometown is is called Ventura, but I grew up in a really really small place called Fillmore. Fillmore, yeah, Fillmore's a town. But high population density, yeah. It's weird. So- Southern California is pretty, or I guess I'm thinking of just LA being yeah. so dense. Is it pretty spread out outside of LA? Oh man, it's it's like a sprawl. Like mm-hmm. LA is just like a huge sprawl. Um, the the actual area of downtown LA is really just like a really small. I don't know how many square miles that you could consider downtown LA, and the rest is just like dozens and dozens of cities, and they end like, like you Santa know, Monica block, and stuff and like, like that. Exactly. All all those. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. It's a county and a city, yeah. and you can say I'm from LA, and then everybody, where, which part of LA? But you're right outside in Ventura, huh? Yeah, it's like where all of the a lot of people go to retire. It's kind of like an older community, so there's like all those retired peoples, and yeah. then there's like the more like Latino area, like the more rural agricultural places, like where I grew up and stuff. Okay, yeah. and you say Latino with such a uh, Latino accent. <laughs> and, uh, uh, what? Uh, so Cruz is uh, Latino. Yeah. Yeah. My, both of my parents are from Mexico. Oh, so your second is that second generation? First, First generation, generation yeah. American. Yeah. You know, I'm not sure. Like, I've been told They're, second generation. They grew up in Mexico. Yeah. Um, yeah. Both of my parents. They actually met in my hometown, though. So they came when they were younger. It's it's. I don't know. It's, it's always so a different situation for most people like that. Did they go back to Mexico or did they stay there once they met? Uh, no. So my, my both of my parents actually went to the same high school that I went to. They got here. I think my mom was like 12. Wow. My dad was like 14 or 15 or something. So young immigrants into yeah. SoCal. So your, your grandparents would have come. Essentially, first. yeah. Yeah, but I just know... <clears throat> Uh, as I got older, like knew a little bit more about like my grandparents. Both of both of my grandparents on both sides, like, were always taking trips, like working in like Southern California, and coming back, and then eventually saved up enough to bring the family over. Type of thing. And that was in the 70s, 80s. Yeah, that was like in the mid 70s when it was like more lenient, and so uh-huh. it was easier for. Was for it agricultural work they were doing? You mentioned yeah, they do that. Yeah, yeah. and like. Um, like Santa Monica Mountains, Oxnard area, which is like basically going up towards that that county, like Ventura County, the, the next county up, like where I grew up. So did you grow up a farm boy? Mm, like when? <laughs> nah, not really. I mean, uh, I don't. Well, when I think of Southern California, I don't think farms at all. Orange yeah. grows as far as I can see. <laughs> oh, seriously, dude! I swear, like, w- like growing up, <laughs> I just only been to LA, so that's yeah. how I associate it. But there is, I'm, I'm guessing, there is some sprawling areas too yeah that's true like uh, la is just like i said it's a whole it's a whole mess of cities mm-hmm. do, do you need cities. to leave your hometown for anything in particular like any comforts oh, would you ever everything, go to everything oh, really? dude for everything yeah <laughs> so so it's like a suburb of ventura it's it's a city and a county as well ventura uh, v- ventura is is the city and then yeah it's ventura county it's like the capital so you're in a suburb of the city yeah called fillmore so fillmore is fillmore. in ventura County, in Ventura County, yeah, and like outside the, of the city, in like the like the whole there's like an agricultural belt. There's there's like Ventura, which is right by the beach, and then um, so the next county up is like Santa Barbara County. You know, like a lot of people when when I tell them, say, "Where are you from?" I'm from Ventura. They're like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> They're like, "Oh, it's it's going towards Santa Barbara, like in between LA and Santa Barbara." Like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah. So you use more famous places to describe what you're doing. Yeah, exactly. It's just like a little story. like rural area. A closer with that. Oh yeah. That's cool. Um and so when what takes you out of Fillmore and or yeah, so to the city or something? S- yeah, like is it a I'm going to town. I'll be back uh, in for the supermarket. I'll be back in an well, hour. Like there's like okay, so the population is like fifteen thousand people. And um, 
the nearest towns over are like eight miles away, like 10 miles apart each, right? So it's just, like I said, like orchards and stuff like that, uh, mountains the other way. Um, and basically, I mean, yeah, there's, there's all of like your normal accommodations, like, you know, you have your supermarkets and stuff like that. Um, it wasn't that, it wasn't that small, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you got a supermarket? But, but like... Wow. But, but it was a little bit like, you know, you literally... Is there a Walmart? Nah. That's not really. a Southern California thing, really. Yeah, there's Walmart in like, you know, in, in the bigger cities. But like I said, it's just a little blip on the dot, basically. So yeah. like if you wanted something special, you would go into the city, into yeah. Ventura City? Yeah, you, you see, we, we didn't even have a Kmart. <laughs> like, we didn't even have a Kmart. Like, And now the, nowhere has Kmart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like growing up is weird. There was like one shopping center, like a, a Vons, like a Pavilions, right? And um, the what's it called? The highway just runs right through it. Like there's no exit ramps. It just you're 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 driving through the county. You just jump off the bus. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. so is it a small town? Super small. Okay, yeah. so you uh, fifteen thousand. That's tiny. Yeah, that is a small town. Yeah. Uh, so you go to high school with everybody, and you just know everybody's name and drama and for sure bullshit. For sure. What's just the one, one high school? One high school. Yeah. One, mi- one middle school. One primary school. Well, there's a couple <laughs> of primary schools now, at least. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, What's the yeah. demographics of the people there? Just kind of like all over the map. Mostly, I know, uh, I know it's changed like a lot. Um, I, like our generation, like me growing up there, it's weird because in my parents' time, it was they were usually just coming from Mexico or wherever, right? And uh, there was more like white population, but now it's more like mixed. I guess, but there still is definitely like the main demographic is like very Latino. Like, did, I would you, say did you hang out with like mostly Latino kids in your youth? Youth? Yeah, but it's weird because like I said, I would say maybe one, like no, like eight of ten kids are like Latinos, and then you had like a couple of white homies. Mm-hmm. Too, no, <laughs> Some of the token oh, yeah, white yeah, homies no, yeah. that were Minority. that were yeah. down. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay, they were like the shell toe Adidas, and they were in. <laughs> they got to join. Did yeah, you speak a, <laughs> a lot of Spanish there, or was it English predominantly, or like, what do you what do you switch between the two? In in school, because like I said, I mean, there was always those those kids coming in that that were straight from Mexico, right? So some of them came older, but as far as I remember, like going to school there, there was always like, oh crap, there's like this new kid from Mexico and stuff like that. You know, is there a hierarchy? So like I've I've been here for six months. Kind of, yeah. Like there was a uh, like, for example. Um, there's always been kind of an animosity, like going way back. Like you know, there, there's like the the Latinos who oh they don't really speak Spanish, you know, like oh they're on the football team and stuff. Uh, and they're yeah. like hey, they're I friends with really. Chad. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But and then as opposed to you know, there's like the more the, the the people who just are more in touch with that side of the culture, you know, mm-hmm. like who would speak more Spanish in school and so stuff. It's a little bit like bragging rights, like I'm more Mexican than you, kind of. No, not uh, not really. I mean, I think it, it was just d- dependent on who you hang out with. I was always and kinda also neutral. kids being kids, like yeah. Yeah, just that's kids true. are idiots. That's famous. Yeah. Yeah. Knows that. Yeah. So yeah, uh, Spanish or English? Like, what what was? Um, at school, definitely. Like with my friends, I I would just I would normally speak English. I would have some friends that we'd fuck around, like speak Spanish with and stuff. Like, um, you guys obviously met Jairo and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, him and his family, like you know, they're they're super like in touch. His parents, it's funny because his parents actually like they got married in Mexico. Like, he, he grew up speaking more Spanish than me, I'm pretty sure, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and, um, but when you're at home, more Spanish, I guess. With your yeah, definitely, stuff, yeah, definitely, definitely. And so your, do your family, the, do they live together or nearby? Like, your grandparents, your parents, or is that mm-hmm. a big <coughs> household, or is it still... Traditional style? Yeah. Um, no, nah, it was like, so we grew up, and we lived in this, in one house, and then when I was, like, eight years old, we moved to... Um, this like newer community that like I said before it was just fucking orchards and they built like this these communities there so I was like eight years old and we moved there and uh, my dad my mom I have a brother and sister they're both older than me and we've been living there ever since okay. yeah like a little uh, subdivision kind of yeah. neighborhood mm-hmm, for sure white picket fence bullshit that kind is the American dream kind of more kind of more and like three kids kind of more like uh, just those townhomes, you know, oh, like, okay. the, the, like the ones that are all identical and you choose from like three uh, models yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. Copy yeah. paste kind of. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. So uh, growing up, like uh, 
<clears throat> you said you had like a few white homies. Mm-hmm. How did they get into the click? <laughs> Were oh. they? Did, did did you did you have to like give them a test or? Nah, they were, they were always Mexican just. Dance. I I remember like <laughs> <laughs> walking, yeah. treading lightly here. No, no, I mean like uh, like I remember like, uh, like a handful of of dudes that we hang out with. It, it would never really be like that. There would always obviously be the joke like, oh, white boy and this stuff like but that. But it's just also yeah. growing up in America. There's it's it's everybody's different. So yeah. so it's yeah. like everybody's essentially equal yeah. because everybody's got their different where you're froms and mm-hmm. whatnot. Uh. But uh, you're, you're, you'd say your kind of whole school life was like, how? What percentage uh, like Latinos lived in the area? Fuck, let me. I tell you, like eighty percent. Eighty percent, yeah, right? Was this up there, like. Is this Fillmore or, or, or Ventura? This Fillmore. Oh. Fillmore, yeah, like Oxnard, definitely. And and High Rose from Fillmore. Yeah, dude. Like I said, we we grew up like a few blocks from each other, and oh, stuff, okay. basically, and uh, in like a more Latino neighborhood, I guess you could say too. Yeah. So uh, you kind of knew everybody around town. Was there any like, uh, how's the what's the gossip situation like? For do you just do you know you know everything? F- for the most or part, or your mom does at least. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the grandparents <laughs> even more. It's like you know the the grandparents would be like talking about like the the people that they came with. Mm-hmm. Like and would always like work with in the fields and stuff. Like oh, me acuerdo de doña cualquiera. <laughs> like whatever you know. Like oh yeah. And then it's like oh, my mom's like oh that one girl. Her her father is this guy from somewhere Michoacan, Mexico, or something <laughs> like that. Oh, <laughs> yeah. stories from the old yeah, the home those, country, from old those generation. Gossip. Yeah. Old gossip. And like when like you know like when my parents were growing up and like the parents of the kids that. I grew up hanging out with like you know all knew each other and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. So it was this kind of old, old yeah. back to the homeland gossip. Not yeah. not so like boring yeah. white suburban. <laughs> Susan <laughs> ate three pieces of watermelon <laughs> at the function. <laughs> oh shit! The pasta said only take two. <laughs> so uh, white people. Yeah. Am I right? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, so uh, you you uh, you grew up with uh, Jairo and some other Latinos. How how much do you like uh, feel Mexican or American? Is there like some like period in when your childhood where you're like, what am I? Uh, for me, like I've come to actually realize, you know, even though my parents did teach me Spanish, and and like I grew up, you know, speaking Spanish and in that culture. I really am like an American by like customs and the way that I think and the and the education for the most part. And there's you know, that divide with it. your older yeah. family that like mm-hmm. you you kind of feel uh, some difference, right? What's the biggest is. Uh, point of contention between the Mexican part of your f- your mm-hmm. yourself and uh-huh. the American side of yourself? What's the part that like mm-hmm. that you can't agree with the Mexican thing or something like that? No, like I I I totally agree with it. It's just um, I, I always kind of try to explain it in this way, where um, I was, you know, educated. Like I have the Latino culture, like that that was always there. That's always been there, mm-hmm. from the very beginning. Like language wise, because my parents taught me at first. But at the same time, I don't know what it's like to live in Mexico. Mm-hmm. Like the last <laughs> time I was there, like was like ten years ago. So I can't really say that I'm like Mexican. You know, like I'm yeah. Mexican American. Yeah. yeah, yeah, because yeah, Mexican like by default, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I grew right, up that, in that that America. that's like a question. Like, what? Yeah. Not only do kids have identity crisis just mm-hmm. on their own, but especially kids who are either immigrants or have yeah. you know a, a mixed race yeah, mixed parent heritage. situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it, it's got to compound when you're uh, in how, a how in did a it come to you because you said like from being here. Yeah, you realize how American you were. What was the like the moment that sparked that? For me, it was like because honestly, which cheeseburger was it? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, it was In and Out Burger. It was, it was an In and Out Burger. One day I had a four by four with grilled onions and shit, and I was like, no, animal style. This is, yeah. Um, now th- there just came a point like after I graduated high school, and um, I realized that my Spanish wasn't as good as it should be. Like even though my parents like talk to me in Spanish like it was my first language like there was times where I had difficulty communicating with my grandparents because like my parent my mom and my dad they spoke 
uh, they speak English. And my grandparents don't speak any English. So there was times where I was like, fuck, man, I can't even talk to my grandparents really, you know? Mm -hmm. And I just, I, I straight up, I just took the initiative, like, I don't know how many years ago. And I was like, fuck, man, like, my Spanish needs to improve. And I just, I just stuck with it. And, like, you know, it, it's gotten a lot better than the past, like, five years. So the, yeah. so the language is the barrier for you. But thinking yeah. that you're American is because... Now you think of yourself as an English speaker learning Spanish. Mm -hmm. Would would you agree? Uh, yeah, because for, for the most part, I I didn't have that that the the formación. I didn't have like the the educational side of 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 Spanish. I had like the it was just through the house. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, that's it's interesting because a lot of people that have that mixed heritage, they uh, it's it's usually a language barrier thing for them as well. I would say anyone who has one language for their family and one language for their personal life is always going to have a hard time yeah. Yeah. joining those two things together. And sometimes you're going to be thinking in one language yeah. and you have to speak another. Do you think in English? Uh, honestly, yeah, for the most part, but it's like a reflex. Like uh, if you guys meet somebody, like for example, Grande, right, one of our friends, he, um, like when, when we're t t t speaking in English, it's like, you know, we're completely Americanized, but then it just the flip of the switch you where can, it's just you can turn it up to yeah. eleven when you start. <laughs> we could just go to zero to a hundred. It's <laughs> really stereotypical. Yeah, <laughs> and it's like a camaraderie. Like yeah. it's it's uh, going back to your roots, kind of touching that feeling of like, oh, I'm in China, but I've also got this homie who's like reminds me of some friend from middle school. Yeah, that too, and and um, I realized because fuck, I didn't study like engineering or something. I studied history, yeah. And I'm like, dude, like it's an asset. It's such an asset to know like another language. You know, it's yeah. Oh, for sure, mm -hmm. and it's such uh, I mean, it's strange for any uh, kind of ethnicity, race, whatever, to be in China. Uh, what is it like being a Latino in China in 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 the wild wild east? Uh, I'm 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 like half Chinese here. That's what I always get. It's like, are you Chinese? Really? Are you have Chinese Darkish skin? Yeah. Is that it? Really? Yeah. No, that I always get mistaken for Chinese. Oh, or like from weird. Mixed Chinese or I didn't Asian. Even think yeah. about that. Like that kind of yeah. Muslim area of China. Yeah. 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 But I think for the most part, like, but yeah. also some similarities. Yeah. Yeah. F um, like not appearance wise. I mean. No, I think honestly, sometimes appearance-wise, because um, like the whole indigenous side of Mexico, like like Mexico is actually super diverse. There's like a whole bunch of languages that are spoken there, and like the indigenous right. culture is still. And there's like mm -hmm. white people there. Mm -hmm. that yeah, they're totally Mexican and look exactly, very white. Yeah. Yeah, there, there's a whole lot of diversity in Mexico. It's pretty interesting. Well, uh, yeah. Black Mexicans as well. That, that's mm -hmm. a thing as well. Like mm -hmm. people overlook that. For sure, there are black people who are Mexican. Le Lebanese, German, Mexicans, and stuff like yeah. you know the the, the and music. of course Native Americans themselves, yeah. right? Like, uh, <coughs> I'm pretty sure. Oh, I don't know if you guys have heard. There's like the the really popular Mexican music called banda. It's polka. It's fucking yeah. polka. Yeah. Yeah. Really, it's polka. That's what Mexican it is. Mexican polka. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So what what uh what what did your uh, traditional your you got a traditional family? What did they think about you coming halfway across the world? Uh, they, they were supportive, luckily, because uh, th there came a point where um, I was just kind of not really doing as much as I could have. I was working at restaurants and stuff. And, and you're educated. Yeah, I was just like bullshitting at community college basically for a while and just uh -huh. making money and chilling in, in my home area. Yeah, and in Fillmore. And I was living in Fillmore always, yeah, up until okay. basically uh, about three years ago where I was like, nah, I'm going <laughs> <gonna." laughs> to... You finally took the leap out of, exactly. the, out of the hometown. Yeah. It's a tough leap to make. Yeah. And even more tough when you're leaving uh, the same country, mm -hmm. China. And everything you've ever known. Yeah. yeah. It's very different. So you yeah. felt that vulnerability when you first got here? Oh, when I got here, you have that uh, weird feeling. Of still, yeah, still, still. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sometimes it's kind of a trip. How just yeah. like, how long have you been here now? Uh, coming up on nine months now. Okay, yeah, so relatively new still, I, I would say. Yeah, yeah especially considering our time mm. in China. We're the old heads. But yeah, but luckily, I mean, like, been fortunate enough to make a, like a lot of good friends out here. For yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people here have a 
kind of gregarious attitude of like friendly and mm-hmm. open or oh here's a new guy or oh yeah uh, it happens a lot we get a, a big rotation of new people mm-hmm. all the time so you have mm-hmm. to learn to be friendly to the new people but not make too many like close friends because they're gonna leave soon yeah, <laughs> yeah. So. it's weird like there's so many goodbye moments yeah. where you're like, uh, like it's like yeah. you're just at a little dinner or something, and it's somebody's goodbye dinner, exactly. and then you're like, okay, bye, man, forever, forever. <laughs> and yeah. and yeah. it's like, do I hug him? That's do I give him a high five? Thanks yeah. for being my friend for a year and a half, and yeah. I'll never yeah. see you again. That's yeah. that's crazy, right? Yeah, no, and I and I've seen that now, like just approaching nine months now. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, there's been like two or three people left since you've yeah. been here, right? Mm-hmm. You'll have a birthday party, and then a couple of weeks later, oh, it's my leaving party. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, So, I had a question for you. Mm. How's Mexico? Dude, like I said, um, the last time that I was actually there was about, like, 10, 11 years ago. It was 2008. Which part? Um, That was when I actually was old enough to remember. um, Because when I, I went when I was younger, but I didn't remember. I went to go visit... Uh, my mom's hometown and my dad's hometown. So two different hometowns. Yeah, which is like they're not too far away. Okay. If from when? Cali or from each other? They're it's like in no from f- those two towns that they're from are not too far from each other. And you other. said they met in the states. Yeah. So it's yeah. kind of this serendipitous thing of they could have met in Mexico. Yeah, but they I, met. It wouldn't have. I, I think they couldn't have met in Mexico. It's like because the grandparents brought them over, right? Oh, when yeah, they were younger yeah, yeah. and stuff, essentially. Crazy. So, so and here, here we have you. Yeah. Those, <laughs> those <laughs> are they small towns where they're from. Uh, compared kind to of, Fillmore, where you're from. Kind of. Yeah, they're they're bigger. They're definitely but bigger. But how far south of the border? Pretty far. So there's there's Guadalajara, right? The second biggest city yeah. in Mexico. And my dad is from that state, Jalisco, and the and. <laughs> The town is a mouthful. It's called it's called Halos Totitlan. <laughs> <laughs> and then my my mom's from a place a little bit more south in a different state, but right at the edge, called uh, Cotija, Cotija Michoacan. And if you know Cotija cheese, is really popular. Okay. It's, like, it's a smelly and ass cheese. <laughs> okay. A smelly ass cheese. She's so proud There's of it. There's a few though. smelly ones. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, that cheese comes from fucking my town. <laughs> <laughs> cheese is a weird thing to be proud of. <laughs> Um, so compared to living in Fillmore and Cali and mm-hmm. what's it like going to Mexico? Oh man, it was weird. Like, do you feel weird as an American? Yeah, because <laughs> there's there's this. Did idea. you feel like a gringo? Not not really. <laughs> there there's like a, a like an actual term for. So, you know, I have like you know Mexicans have like a million cousins, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, this is your cousin. I was like, whoa, shit, we never met. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and like we would hang out with our cousins from over there, and. We would be like the, is that mine? It's right, no, it's no. Uh, um, and that would be like, th- you would kind of feel like what's called a bocho. It's Bo- like bocho. Bocho is like you know American. An American. Oh. But but the funny Latino. thing is, but the funny thing is, like they want to be American too. A lot of times, like my cousins over there. At least I had more like posh cousins, mm-hmm. and I had like different ones that were more you know, um, like not not quite into that type of stuff, but. Yeah, I had some posh cousins where they were like, you know, Amber Combi and stuff like that. <laughs> in Mexico. Want to go. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like. So they want to live the life that you were living, basically. <laughs> right, right. And they would like, <laughs> in, they would always be like injecting like little English into their. It was into weird. Yeah. Yeah. To show off like, oh, I know this English yeah. word. <laughs> it's like, like a lot of people you ask like, oh, in Mexico, if, if you're like drinking and you're drunk or something. Oh, you're not drunk it's, or borracho. You're, you're, you're happy. <laughs> <laughs> you're happy. <laughs> That's just funny. Yeah. yeah, I love the Latino spirit of just breaking down every uh, kind of cultural nuanced stuff with just a simple word or a joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, there's there's a there's never like really tension. I feel when I'm hanging around with like Latinos. I'm from mm-hmm. you know I I grew up in America. There's Latinos everywhere. It's very novel for me because we don't have a lot of. Latino things in the UK, it, like you'd yeah. you'd we have, have Hispanic Mexicans. things, but we right? Don't, we have well, is Spanish Hispanic things. Is his, but, but right, right, right. But the is presence, Hispanic right, only really because yeah. Yeah. we don't like Mexican food isn't represented yeah. at all. Uh, mm-hmm. Like anything Latino that's very common in the south of the USA, we don't really have. Mm-hmm. It's not really a thing. Mm-hmm. So it's quite novel for me coming to China and meeting a lot of Latino Hispanic yeah. people. Have you had Mexican food? Yeah, well, there is in London. London has, but. Mm-hmm. 
you, you have to actively search for it. Yeah. You can't yeah. just find it on every And corner. it's not going to be Literally. like some really good taco truck. Yeah. You know. yeah on a and you don't even know if there are actual Mexicans that run it. So yeah. it yeah. could just be the same as the Chinese. Well, Mexican there's food there's food Chinese food. restaurants yeah. in America yeah. run by Mexicans. So yeah. Yeah. it's a, there's a, that's, that just shows you the hot potness of America. Yeah. So the, I, the mixed, I, mixed bag. I, all I, until I came to China, all I knew about Latino culture was just based on movies and music and things like mm, that, so. which is probably not the best thing to base mm. uh, your your understanding of a culture. Well, that's what everybody bases America it's, it's on. A, it's a starting point, though, <laughs> like, for sure. Movies. You know, like, Chinese people, at least, they, like, for the most part, you ask them, they're, oh, where'd you learn how to speak English so good? They're probably, like, imitating movies and yeah, music yeah. and stuff. What do you think yeah. is a, maybe a harmful stereotype that you've seen of Latino or Hispanic people from uh. pop culture? Or something you don't like when you see it happen? <laughs> that we drink too much? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, I mean, that's, that's, that's like the Dave Chappelle eating yeah. watermelon thing. It's yeah, like yeah. everybody likes watermelon. Right. Everybody yeah. likes drinking. Yeah. I would say I'm not I don't Latino, think that's but I would say the lazy stereotype. Cause, oh, that's cause Hispanics yeah, and sure. Latinos, people that, that emigrate to America, they work their asses off. Yeah, the for the most of your part. grandparents yeah. going to do work, right? So yeah, that that's yeah. You you hit it right, the nail right on the head. That's that's the one that's really like you know kind of hits home. So what? yeah, because because yeah. you go to any describing any immigrant from any country as lazy is ridiculous yeah. because they're literally going to work and they've <laughs> literally moved their whole life yeah in search of work in search of a better life and how dare somebody move across you know. A land but mass. But my border. <laughs> it's, weird, right? it's, like, it's my border. It's like they're doing the most American thing that you could possibly do, right? Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, the American dream is a dream of immigrants in a different country, right? Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't know. Some people think there's too many. I uh, mm-hmm. I uh, emigrated. Dreams, dreams or immigrants? Both, right? <laughs> 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 there's only so many amount of dreams you can have here. Uh, you said One you per s- night. You studied history, right? What what type of history? Yeah, um, general history. <coughs> yeah, um, U.S. history. So I chose like two focuses. One of my focuses was <coughs> was Latin America, and the other one was Europe. And um, actually, one of the reasons why like I decided to to transfer to university finally was because I was like, fuck, I'm gonna study abroad. Like I I, I like saved up enough money. I was like, all right, I'm gonna go in a semester. And I'm going to, the next one, next fall, like, I'm going somewhere, you know? And I was able to go and study in, in Spain for, like, oh, five nice. months. And, yeah, no, that was a good experience. So this is modern history? Uh, mostly, yeah. Yeah, like, more modern history. If I have two, I mean, like, my, the, the stuff that interests me the most, history-wise, is Spain and Mexico. Okay. Spain and Mexico. And Hispanics are Spanish-based. Latinos are... Well, I mean... The Kind of the same thing, right? Hispanic yeah, what's yeah. Spanish speaking <coughs> from the Latin. So Mexican. what what was it like being in Spain it, it's as re- a Mexican American? Oh man, you feel really welcome. You feel really welcome there, especially because they knew, like, once they heard me speak Spanish, and like I said, I always approach people and I said, I'm from America, right? And I was like, Oye, pero tú hablas español muy bien. You know, they like trip out <laughs> on you. They were like, <laughs> Your Spanish then, is good. And then I tell them, and then I tell them, I was like, Yeah, my parents are from Mexico. I, you know. Tell them the same thing that I told you guys, and uh, and they're like, oh no way! Like you know, they're they're really welcoming if you if, if you speak the language. If I did if I if I didn't speak the language, I don't know, you know, because I heard some stories too. It's like, oh, it, I've been to Spain a few times. Yeah. That, like it's it's not as friendly as other countries, but like compared to maybe France or Italy, yeah, they're quite warm people. Yeah. I feel yeah, they're in a bit of a tough spot. <laughs> most <laughs> most European nations are traditional and yeah. by proxy friendly. Yeah, some France isn't very friendly, depending <laughs> on where you are. True. <laughs> yes, I mean if you're in like a tourist center. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. If you go to some small town in any of those places, you'll probably get a open arms being. Yeah. Being so from. So, what was your impression of Spain, like, mm-hmm. compared to America and Mexico? So I I lived in this small coastal city called Alicante, and um, it's like about five hours south of Barcelona, um, where. They still they still speak that regional language Catalan. Oh, Catalan! Yeah, yeah, yeah. and like actually, I tried I tried to learn a little bit. I took a class there. It's pretty interesting. Totally but different oh, from Spanish. 
Uh, it's it's pretty similar. It's pretty is similar. is uh, Spain Spanish the same as Mexican? It's got to be different, right? Oh, a super little bit different. Super different, different words. Even used, even yeah. like you know um, like within within like the like peninsula, you know, obviously there's like Portuguese, but they speak there's like I don't know how many languages and dialects like in in um in Spain. There's quite a bit. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it was it was an interesting time to be there because there was like the crackdown on the elections and stuff. There was all of that tension where uh, uh, Catalonia, you know, and Barcelona were yeah, trying yeah. to like split off. Yeah. So I think it was like on October, like three years ago. Yeah, pretty much like three or two years ago. Two, or yeah, I think it was two years ago. Yeah. yeah it was um, that kind of time. They they sent they sent the government of Madrid came over and basically just beat people at the at the polls. <laughs> it was there really? was a lot of shit going on. Yeah. yeah. So they didn't want Catalonia to. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they they se- separate in- independence. There's that. always been. They've always been like at odds. For the most part, yeah. Wow, okay. So uh, what interests you a lot about the history between Mexico and Spain then? Because that's obviously <coughs> a very fiery history. Mm-hmm. So what part of that draws you in? Well, for me, like I, I, I try to steer clear and, you know, like the political conversation is always there about history, but I like the cultural history, the linguistic history too. That's like stuff that interests me a lot, you know? So you're into language. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, well, mostly, I wish I could say I was into Chinese because it would help me out. But yeah, <laughs> nine months uh, in. Yeah, nine months mm-hmm. in. Just need a lifesaver. Yeah, <laughs> nine months in, it's not happening for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, no, definitely. I, I, I like I like Spanish. I like English and um, other, you know, like French, Italian, and stuff like that. The, I like the those Latin sort of languages. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the Romance languages, yeah. pretty popular. Mm-hmm. Uh, more they sound better than german right <laughs> yes <laughs> um so you lived in spain for how long uh basically like six months six really months happier. just did one semester there so uh again with the meeting people and leaving transient yeah feeling. yeah you know i was kind of what I was your big takeaway mm-hmm. from spain Mm, what was that? Well, what was the? What's the big takeaway? Food, right? <laughs> Dude, honestly, like I well, was. You can't take that away. <laughs> I wasn't a big fan of the food. Really? For, for me, it's for, different, right? Yeah. I mean, from yeah. super, super different. Um, Ceviche? for me, it was it was like the people, and 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 the sites, the like the Beautiful the country. architecture, and, his, and, natural and that's beauty of it. Yeah. falls under history too. Yeah. 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 I mean, there's a lot of. A lot of years done been did there. That that was some of my favorite parts of Spain. Like just mm. you can just look out a, a window when you're traveling and it's just beautiful. It's yeah. Like yeah. And yeah. you kind of think about how long people have lived there and worked there yeah. and died there and how many people have seen what you're seeing then. Yeah. That that too. Europe's uh, crazy, right? Yeah, dude. It's weird. That as being as an American, where the history you don't really feel the history. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, especially in in I mean in deep. In like California, right? There's not a whole lot of stuff that's that's left there for you to look at. And it's yeah, pretty, yeah. in America terms, it's pretty new. Yeah, I mean, for sure. Uh, we started on the east, so Cali was one of the last ones, right? Mm-hmm. You've got a lot of natural history, like natural beauties. Oh, and history yes, that's the one thing yeah, that, like that I tell people is like, if you visit California, there's like so much to see there, like mountains, Yosemite, just mountains in general. Yeah. Are, are beautiful well, just in at. yeah, in one state, you've got. Mm-hmm. Every other and Cali because it's on that coast, you get you've got so much variety. Yeah. You can go skiing and snorkeling in the same day. That's right. That's right. Up north, anyway. Mm. I mean, you wouldn't. That's a busy day. That's too much. But you could <laughs> yeah. theoretically do yeah. that. But you wouldn't do that. <laughs> no, only a madman. Uh, let's play a game. You do that. Let's play a game. Mm. So you're gonna tell us a letter between A and K. Okay. And then. Spencer will take uh, the rest of the way. Okay. okay. <laughs> so just say a letter between A and K. F. All right. That's a good letter. Solid letter. <laughs> good good choice. Do 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 I would have chose do. F too. <laughs> F's a solid start. And one, two, three, or four? Four. N- four. No. And number four. Number four? Yeah. <coughs> mo money, mo problems? Um, Is that a question? <laughs> mo money, mo problems. Did you see the mo yeah. money, mo problems? Did You've you see the... <laughs> I I nodded Actually, my head. <laughs> I would say no. I would say no. No. I would say yeah. I would say that doesn't ring yeah. true. Mm. No. Well, I think more money and more and more 
um, what do you say? I mean, more more extended group of friends, more problems, right? Mm. Big yeah. circle, yeah. big prob, more yeah. problems. Yeah. I think there's a cap. I think there's a certain amount you can get where you you don't increase your problems, mm -hmm. but then once you <coughs> surpass that, there's a new cap, and then yeah, same again. You could always have more money. Yeah, and you could always have more problems. Exactly, <laughs> but you can have a lot of problems with no money. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and and yeah. the the money and the problems are kind of together to where if you have more problems you have money to deal with the problems mm -hmm. money to solve problems <laughs> like if you buy a jaguar you should have enough <laughs> money to fix the engine if it blows out yeah mm. and that's, that's a, a good problem to have yeah <laughs> right but <laughs> you don't want to you don't want to be this kind of bullshitter who barely bought a jaguar and the engine blows out and you're fucked yeah <laughs> so <laughs> the mon uh, uh, basically life is problems yeah mm. R rich or more poor. More life, more problems. I think. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> more Every life, day. more problems. Yeah, Every day more, you don't. More, more days, more problems. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Every day so Spencer, I'm gonna, you're gonna choose is now. a struggle. Come on. C. C. So that's a uh, one to four again. Three. Okay. <laughs> this is one that I, we, we laughed about earlier. I'm going to change it to the one we decided is better. Okay. Are mimes worthy of respect? Are mimes <laughs> worthy of respect? <laughs> We've written it depends on the year. It depends if it's we're talking 1920. No, we're not. We're talking 2019. 2019? I'd say 50% respect. What about respect. clowns? Would you put clowns? 30. 30, 30 less than mimes. Less than mimes. Why? Mimes at least don't talk. Clowns <laughs> 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 open their big fat mouths. Okay. What do you think about mimes, Ruben? Um, I think like it would be more difficult today to be a mime, right? Because fucking I don't know. Imagine it's being all having about a toad. Imagine, imagine, loud imagine having an Instagram and being a mime. <laughs> like <laughs> that's <was> great though. <laughs> <laughs> It's fine. Wait, it's like the sound won't turn on. Yeah. What's going on? I, I think um people have so little attention that you're not going to draw them yeah. in with no sound. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want to see... Like, a, we get it. There's no rope I want to see a mime with a Twitter. No characters. Just these videos. <laughs> or like... <laughs> with a... <laughs> yeah, what was that thing you that... should start that. That app that... <laughs> Vine? Vine mime? Right. Yeah. Vine mime. Yeah. Vine uh, got shut down. The actual question says magicians. What do you think about magicians? Magicians? Are th um, in the... In the Cast oh, system. That thing? Um, <laughs> <laughs> mimes, We're clowns. I think honestly, it would be it would be better today because like you could you could find like a like more of an audience. There's more like like stunt trick. People like to things. be fooled. Yeah, yeah. Um, kind of David Blaine. Exactly, like more street so performing, yeah, like yeah, yeah. performing. So they're the top tier. Yeah. Top tier of the <laughs> bottom tier of professions. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what, about, what about mime? What about below every other? What about a though. court jester? Well, you need a court. That's just yeah. a clown. Right? <laughs> You're just describing right, someone yes. that falls over yeah. as a job. That's true. It's a clown. The Jimmy Fallon <laughs> You're just describing Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt, fall down. Okay. Ruben? Ruben. All right. Are you, you I, choose? I'm going to pick. Uh, I'm going to pick letter D. Letter D. Time for the D. And yeah. one, two, one, two, with a D. one, two, four. <laughs> Um, possibly, yeah. See how so many oh. questions oh, is it? there are. Oh, let's see here. Five. One five. through five. All right. uh, let's go with two. Two? All right. Is life just drinking stuff, eating shit, and watching TV forever? <laughs> 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 At least he laughed. laughs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> basically, I was saying yeah. it's too true. I mean, I would change the TV Depends. over time, but yeah. basically, yeah. Mm. Yeah, you watch different things. Yeah, yeah, but uh, essentially... A lot of TV. It's drinking shit, eating <laughs> shit, and then doing some small menial entertainment thing until you die. And working mm. a little. Exactly, eh. yeah. Eh. Pretending Unless you love it. Pretending to work. Yeah, <laughs> pretending to work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's basically Spencer's uh, outlook on life. <laughs> what? That question? Yes, that question. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, uh, who wrote that one? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That was one of these. Uh, all right, Ruben, you choose. A through K. Uh, B. All right, make it easy for me. One, two, three, four, five, or six? Mm. Six. <coughs> Would you rather have the voice of Werner Herzog or Fran Drescher? I'm not sure. And do I you know, know any of those <laughs> people? <laughs> That's the follow-up. <laughs> 
<laughs> you don't know those people. Wait, something Herzog? Werner Werner Herzog, a Herzog. documentarian. You don't know a, you don't know Werner Herzog? How dare you? I guess the name <laughs> rings a bell. I guess the name rings a bell, but he made uh he made Grizzly Man. The the guy that got eaten by <laughs> bears. I don't know what that is either. <laughs> Sorry, <guys. laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> well, all right, I I would five. choose Werner. Five. <laughs> okay, this is an accessible one. Yeah. Favorite movie monster. Favorite oh, movie monster. Mm, I'm not much of a horror movie. I mean, there's there's definitely but there's other there's ones monsters in action. Uh, I think Godzilla monsters. Thinks well, it doesn't have to be horror. King, yeah, it could be. <laughs> I any guess King Kong. <laughs> King Kong works. King yeah. Kong. Why? Yeah. King Kong. <laughs> Why, you son of a bitch? <laughs> King Kong ain't got nothing on that. I just remember that Denzel Washington thing. Because okay. he because he finally got the girl in the end. He does, King right? Kong. King he Kong. Does. He takes he, her all the way up. He stole her with his little finger. Yeah. Right? And then died. I think it's a whole hand. I don't remember, actually. He, he handed her? He uh-huh. full handed. Oh, boy. That was in the... What what year was that Monster. movie? You you don't you yeah. never saw King Kong. <laughs> no, I <laughs> never did actually. <laughs> 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 like Denzel Washington. Come on, Spence. What? Oh, uh, G. G. No, nope, F. G. <laughs> G. G. Gonna punch you. <laughs> uh, my alphabet is bad. One to five. Two. Best Disney movie. Oh, what a terrible yeah, question. Oh, terrible question. You wrote it. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, this is a quick round. Lion King, what do you got? Mm. The, f- the first, the original. Oh, we're, going a- we're going animated. The ripoff. Disney. Whatever. First Lion King. Oh, I guess you could say Marvel shit now. Well, you can say everything, pretty much. Yeah. Like, everything's true. Disney. Disney movie? I don't even know. The last, the last Coca-Cola, the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I never really watched like too many Disney movies. What was that movie? Oh, now we're in China. Let's say Mulan. <laughs> okay. That one okay. was pretty good. That was yeah. a good movie. I might go with a good, Aladdin. It's a good origi- story. Original yeah. Aladdin, Aladdin is great. Yeah. Can't go wrong there. Robin Williams. Let's do one more round. One um, more round. Wait, was was Mulan? Mulan was Jap- Japanese or Chinese? Chinese. Oh, Chinese. Okay, oh, okay, you, you just, just fucked up there. You <laughs> <laughs> fucked up on the follow up. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, um, so it was I'll go A. It's right. nice and easy. All right. Let's see here. Okay. Uh, one through five. Let's go five. Five. All right. Favorite song with a color in the title. Oh, I've done this question before. I yeah. s- the last time I answered this question was yeah. Coldplay Yellow. Let's let's do a re re All re right. re rewind. Right. Uh, rewind two, two. All right. The rate at which humans <laughs> fart and burp. <laughs> too much? Too little? Just right. Did also I done this did question. This one too. <laughs> also, oh, yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I've done this question, but I'll answer again. Yeah. It's not a problem. Cows are the issue. They fart way too much. Yeah. The, the methane from them is way more than humans. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Just say that to the the bean lobbyists. Yeah. I mean, I do like beans. Yeah. Do they really make you toot more? Yeah. Okay. Let's ask the Latino. So. <laughs> um, yeah, no, definitely. I remember when I was Bean expert is what you're trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> beans, have you seen the, the, the sh- t-shirt? Beans, beans, the magical fruit. Oh, the I've, beans, the I've heard yeah. and seen all the... Yeah. That's the I first think song my grandpa I, I'm waiting to see that in, in a shirt for uh, somebody in China having that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's I love like it. out of place. Yeah. To no, be toot, magical toot. bean. <laughs> <laughs> Beans the magical scoot. So Hold on, do one more, Lee. That was oh, okay. uh, garbage. Okay, let's so go we for a different letter. Let's go with right. e. 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 Okay. Oop, there it is. E for right. ego. E for effort. All right. Um, one through three. Two. Two. This is... Oh, this is the shortest one. This is a really long one before that. 30 is the new... What? <laughs> 30 is the new sexy. <laughs> How old are you? Is 31. All right. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. It's a bunch of sexy gents. <laughs> but Ruben, you're like 16, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically. So he's yeah, like... But in spirit... You're just like you're, you're just like thirty is just old. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with you guys? I also do feel like thirty's old though. I mean, it's about a quarter of the way through. Ruben, Qu- uh, a I'm quarter. Up. Okay. <laughs> well, Are you can live to 120. <laughs> <laughs> my, I have bad math. Sorry, <laughs> math and English not my strong suits tonight. Yeah. Um. So I'm up. You're up. Uh. I'll do K. K. Do some K. Yeah. Let's not do that on so camera. 
The last okay. one. One through four. Uh, let's do two. Were you into dinosaurs as a kid? <laughs> no, I was. I was into. I was into bionicles. Did you guys ever? Play? Bionicles. <laughs> That's yeah, like yeah, yeah. Legos. Yeah, yeah. Or something like, like action a weird. Yeah. You put Legos. together your own toy. Yeah, yeah. So it's like Chinese factory the toy. Kind of. Except you get to I keep it. Used mm. to be really jealous because my cousin had bionicles mm. and I never did. Yeah. But then, like, and there was a Bionicles movie that came out oh, around the same right, time. That's right, that's right. I've rewatched that movie not that long ago. It is so bad. <laughs> like, it does One not hold up. One of the great yeah. Ben Franklin inventions. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, Lee. Let's do one more. One more, Spence. Come on. Give me a letter. I'm choosing... Let's spread F. It. Oh, we, d we did F already. We've done F already. But you can do F. Again. Let's go F again. Okay, so... One, two, four. One. Choose another number. We've done this before. <laughs> <laughs> Three. Uh, do we get reincarnated or are we spit out into the expansive dark void? Ooh, that's a good one. I would say, I don't know. There's only so much energy to go around. Do you think that it gets put back somehow? I'd say we're spit out. There's a <laughs> void. It's just black. So you don't believe in any kind of... I think we're just organic things that kind of just go away. Okay. It's a nice thought, though, right? <laughs> yeah. The reincarnation. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Was thinking, I would like to... Uh, I would love for that to happen, yeah. and, and I kind of live my life that way yeah. to where I'm just like, okay, let's do not you, fuck this up. You must have grown up in a religious household... Oh, being definitely. like Mexicans, right? So like, Fuck, yeah. So, but what about for you? Like, is it Catholic? Did it? Yeah. Did yeah. it pass on to you at all? Like any of that religious uh, upbringing? Uh, honestly, like I, I went through the whole religious school. I you, went through. Did you go to confirmation? <laughs> yeah, I did all that mm. up until I was in high school. I got I got baptized, and then first communion, where they give you the bread and the wine, mm. and then um, after that, when you're like an adolescent, then you go to confirmation, and I did all of those, and so now it's like. Just yeah. take them off the box, right? Like yeah, yeah. Well, because <laughs> if you don't do all those, apparently you can't technically get married, like by the church. I mean, for me, it's it's just like as a kid, I would go and do it, and I wouldn't want to be there. I would, you know, have to be there until the wine and bread came out. Yeah, You're like this ain't half <laughs> bad. <laughs> the wine and bread. Um, there, there was times where I was like, I just, I just didn't want to go. But now, like, I don't go anymore. But I respect it more than I ever did when I was a kid. Obviously, just because of like the. Like the upbringing of it, mm -hmm. you know, like the, the structure of it, like, you know, the, the fact that my parents wanted me to There's do definite, something. There's definitely positives better, to right? the whole thing. Yeah. Did any of the beliefs pass over to what you think now? I'm superstitious. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think I'm superstitious. It'll be like yeah, any yeah. certain. I believe that about Catholics. Like they yeah. believe like, oh, you shouldn't do that because the devil will do something. It's weird because it's like, I know it's bullshit, but yeah. it's like I still do it, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's that fighting the logic side, right? Yeah. I, mm -hmm. I've got a lot of Catholic friends and they're the kind of people that will like throw salt over their shoulder if yeah. if they think something's happening. And yeah. never yeah. masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> Always masturbate. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but then have deep shame. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> deep, right. Deep that, shame. <laughs> that's that's deep. half of being... That's half of Cath Catholicism. Yeah, no, I did that. I did confession a few times. Like, oh my God, I did... I did it as a kid too. Yeah. How old were you when you did Shit, it? Shit, like, damn, dude, like ten or something. That's Isn't that crazy. pretty deep and yeah. heavy for a yeah. child? Yeah. I remember even thinking at the time, like, why are they making me do this? Yeah. Right. I'm yeah. I'm not even old enough to get fucking crazy yeah. yet. <laughs> 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 like I haven't done no bad mm -hmm. shit. I was like, I I said like. I stole my like the remote from my sister or something. You know, mm. some dumb shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, it is a it is Three a. Mary's. Right, I don't remember what the the prognosis was. But yeah, I they would, right? <laughs> <laughs> I got out of there unscathed. Mm -hmm. Cool. Sick. We don't really <laughs> like uh, <laughs> confession. Isn't really a big thing. Like we have Catholics, but like the UK is more of a Protestant country, mm -hmm. so we don't have that. <coughs> a lot literally of literally Catholic protesting. Mm -hmm. Yes, the Catholics. Yes. Yeah. So it's a little more chill. Protestant. Yeah. Yeah. Like. There's yeah. not as much. It's all tea and biscuits at like church it's gatherings. It's just like not like uh, it's, it's just community. Less, less shame. We were talking with you know like in America a lot of the times the conversation of like religion and politics always comes back. You know, as opposed to other countries where they just kind of 
have able to really separate those yeah everybody things, ever yeah. always forgets the separation yeah. of church Which and is, state yeah, this is the yeah. ironic thing right america literally says the separation of church and mm-hmm. state where other countries don't make the distinction distinction but mm-hmm. like it's still in america it's not explicit it's not explicit but it's just like uh like a un like unspoken understanding type of things like you don't like really talk you about wanna, those if you want to be like successful in politics you yeah. have to be a god-fearing man yeah yeah, and you're never going to have a president who's of any other religion than mm-hmm. Catholic or Christian, right? You're mm-hmm. never going to have a Muslim president or a Jewish mm-hmm. president. Yeah. We already had Obama. Hey! Yeah, Obama. <laughs> <laughs> he was actually from Somalia. Yeah. Fact. Obama. That's a hashtag. He was hashtag. a pirate. Yes. And <laughs> an atheist Somalian pirate. Who was also a Muslim. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 He's one of the confused ones. <laughs> Uh, I think he just like robes. Uh, anyways, where are you going with that? <coughs> nowhere. Okay. Nowhere. Uh, so anyways, how long you been in China now? Nine months. Do you got any uh, hobbies here in China? What do you do for fun around here? What's your side side fun? Side hustle. Side fun. Um, usually just because you got time, right? Yeah. You yeah. Got time. Honestly. Um, yeah. The school. I mean, luckily the hours are pretty good here, and um. For the most part, just try to like play some soccer every now and then. It's been a while since I played soccer. Um, I was actually trying to play basketball the like this past week. You found a basketball uh, court? Yeah, I found an indoor basketball court in in the same mall that I work at. Um, so I suck, but <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. I like to play. Um, just mess around. You work stuff. in a mall, inside of the mall. Nice. Right? Uh, yeah, there's always weird stuff happening in Chinese malls. So right? you keep <laughs> keep the sports stuff. Yeah, I try to try to like run, and then um, one thing that that I've always like had as a hobby since I was younger is just playing pool. You know, right? Play a pool and stuff. You a nine ball guy? Nine ball? Ooh, that's that's a tough one. That's a tough game to play. I'm you know, big eight game. ball guy. Yeah. What's the difference? I don't know. <laughs> <Nine ball? laughs> just the, the number of balls. I like the seventeen. Well, ball. I mean, like I know, like like nine ball is like what like that game where you play. Um, like it's in a diamond, yeah. right? You, you it's one to nine. S- snooker. Um, I don't know what that is, honestly. Snooker's got a it. yellow and white ball, right? Or snooker has like so you the main triangle is red, mm-hmm. and then there's some other colors, like five other colors: pink, blue, red. This is w- you put all the reds, and then you go for the others, finishing with the black. Oh, okay. This is that's one of the most uh, annoying words for a British person to hear an American say, because we say snooker. <laughs> Snooker. <laughs> do you actually say snooker? You want to play some snooker? snooker. We would I never say sn- snooker. It's double, it's double O. How do you say it? Yeah. Snooker. Right. Snooker. 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 I'm just right? trying to say You'd it. say it, snooker. right? <laughs> How would you a know, Latino you say you it? Know, a snooker. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's painful. That's not nice. I don't like that. I told you. Yeah. I, I warned you. I didn't know you did that. Don't do that. <laughs> it's a double O. Hey, at least we don't say iced lollies. Snooker. Okay. Popsicles. Notice. Snooker. Get out of here with your popsicles. Yeah. Anyways. Um, Snooker. No. Okay, podcast over. What uh <laughs> Ruben leave. <laughs> it's over. Ruben Cruz, thank you for coming. Uh, any advice you want to give the audience for uh, Latinos coming to China? Um, just if, well, depending on your job, if, if you're a teacher, just enjoy it and make friends and travel if you can and just make the most of it. And do our podcast. Mm-hmm. And and uh, follow Spencer's soup. podcast for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's it called? Oh. Fat <laughs> 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 Soup. Thank you. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank you, coming, Ruben. Thank you. All right. Guys. Bye, guys. Bye.